Alright YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would conduct a final review and giveaway of the Soviet Tier 10 Premium Cruiser, the Smolensk. Now this ship has become quite controversial lately. A lot of people think this is, ship is extremely overpowered. Um, that is not my opinion. I think this is a really good ship, but I think it needs to be handled with care. I don't think it's OP. It has very good offensive capabilities, but it takes a lot of damage when it does get hit. So you need to take care not to get caught out in the open and watch out for those radar cruisers. Now, certain very skilled players can do extremely well 300,000 uh, damage games in this ship but I think most of the average players and I'm average to maybe below average I think this is a good ship and I've had probably five games of over a hundred thousand one or two over a hundred and fifty thousand damage but uh, it's it's kind of like an all-or-nothing in this ship you're either doing really good because the other team is doing poorly or you get obliterated that just seems to be uh, my skill level in this ship so I personally don't think it's overpowered and that's just because I'm not that good but anyway let's take a look at the ship we're going to take a look at its modifications its upgrades its ammunition and consumables and the captain skills cause all those will affect the stats that we have going into the game if you're interested in a chance to win a Smolensk I'm giving one away stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway now let's take a look at the modifications this is a premium ship so it does come fully modified the upgrades Slot number one, I chose damage control party modification number one. Slot number two, damage control system modification number one. Slot number three, I took aiming system modification because I don't aim very well and I need all the help I can get. So that just gives you a tighter shot group. Um, slot number four, I took propulsion modification. Reason for that allows you to pull in and out. Uh, around islands a little bit faster you get up to full speed faster and you slow down a little bit faster slot number five I took concealment system modification slot number six I took gun fire control modification to give a little extra range to my guns these 130 millimeter cannons have very good muzzle velocity they shoot pretty flat and it's easier to hit chips at a distance with these guns so you can t you can get benefit from that extra range that you may not get from some of the other ships now you could come up here to main battery modification and drop your reload right and if you took this and some of the captain skills that reduce reload I think you can get this down to somewhere around three and a half seconds mine will not be that when we take a look at the stats but I think you can get it that low ammunition and consumables you have HE and AP in the right circumstances these 130 millimeter AP shells can do a lot of damage especially if you're firing against another Smolensk now then consumables first slot damage control party second slot you get a choice of hydroacoustic search or defensive AA fire. I chose hydroacoustic search. I think the ship's AA is pretty good as it is. And if you're sitting in smoke firing, you probably want to be running hydro just to make sure you don't take some torpedoes. Or if you happen to be chasing down a destroyer, which this ship is very good at killing destroyers, you probably want to be running hydro while you're doing that so you don't eat a torp there slot number three smoke screen generator and slot number four 
repair party. Exterior of the ship. It has the Type 20 Smolensk camouflage on it. These are the signals I have mounted. I do have Sierra Mike mounted. And the community contributors flag. So, now for the captain. I have a special captain, Alexander Octavian. I, I can't pronounce that. It's the hockey player. Yeah, that's who I have mounted as the captain. And that's because he gets a special um, survivability expert skill. Instead of plus 350, he gets plus 400. And I wanted that extra HP that I got with this ship or with this captain let me correct myself the extra HP benefit that I got from this particular captain he is a 19 point captain and this is how I have his points distributed for the tier 1 skill I took priority target tier 2 skill I took smoke screen expert uh, it gives you a larger smoke screen so you can maneuver in there a little bit I had two points left over uh, when I selected all the other stuff, so I put it on Adrenaline Rush. Not that you really need that. Your reload is pretty good as it is. Um, tier 3 skills. There's the Survivability Expert that I took. I also took Superintendent, Extra Smoke Screen, Extra Hill. I don't usually use 4 Hydros, but uh, I do use those Smoke Screens and those Hills quite often. For the tier four, I took inertia fuse for high explosive. Um, that just gives you a little damp, a little extra damage on the hit, lets your HE shells penetrate a little bit farther. I find it useful. A lot of the better players who um, can really aim at more pinpointed targets can probably do without it and start a few more fires, but I like to run it. I also took advanced firing training. And that just gives you more range on your guns. Speaking of this captain, I did not mount color shell tracers. Uh, I didn't want to draw any extra attention than I already get for being in a Smolensk and having the uh, Wargaming Community Contributors tag uh, for my clan. So I didn't want any extra attention other than those twos um, brought to me so I didn't mount those so that is how the ship is set up and the captain that's on it let's take a look at how these things uh, affected my stats concealment as it sits right now its detectability by C is 11.2 but you can get that down with concealment expert by air, it's 6.7. Maneuverability, maximum speed, 36.8 knots. That is with the Sierra Mike flag. Turning circle radius, 750 meters. Rudder shift time, 8.2 seconds. AA defense score of 89. This is what you have. 4 times 4, 25 millimeters. 6 times 4, 45 millimeters. And 4 times 4, 130 millimeters torpedoes you get two launchers each launcher has five tubes they're 533 millimeter torpedoes they run out to eight knots at a speed of 60 or they run out to eight kilometers at a speed of 60 knots artillery this is the good stuff you get four times four 130 millimeters as your main armament my reload as it sits right now is 4.5 seconds but you can get that down to about three and a half Tur traverse is six seconds for a 180 degree turret turn um you get he maximum he shell damage is 1800 and maximum ap shell damage is 2600 the firing range as it sits right now is 19.2 kilometers survivability with the survivability the enhanced survivability expert is 36,400 and that goes away really quickly um, armor layout this ship has no armor whatsoever 16 millimeters 
30 millimeters. Even the Citadel armor belt is only 70 millimeters. You are not going to be bouncing anything in this ship. Run and hide. That is your defense. So, let me just take a minute. I'm going to show you a little video clip of why the ship is so good and why it is so bad. It's going to be seen in like one 30 second clip of both ends of the stick. Smolensk against Smolensk. Let's watch it. So I'm pulling up to cover the cap with my fast firing 130 millimeter cannons. I see it's an enemy Smolensk. So I switch to AP. He pulls out just a little too far. Allows me to get a shot off on him. And my second salvo is dead on the money. Five citadels with 130 millimeter cannons. It's a peddling. Oh, wasn't that devastating? Totally wiped out that other small ants with the AP shells. Five citadels. Goodness. Anyway, why don't we see what I was able to do uh, with a small ants as an average uh, player? Now, this is one of my better games, so keep that in mind. Most of them don't turn out like this. Here we go. All right, we've picked up Haven. I want to find a position where I can cover the cap, but not take return fire. Uh, well, that's the key to any ship. If you can deal damage and not receive damage, you're doing good. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think I'm going to try to go for this Allen that is right in front of the ship. Right there. See if I can tuck in behind that and fire toward the cap. Can back up, maybe fire over that. If people start flanking that way, we'll have to see. Got HE loaded. Does have inertia fuse for high explosive. Not seen any any enemies yet. Rudder shift on this is pretty good, just standard. Pull a hard right. Oh, and got detected. And got aimed at by four ships. Right off the bat, four people want to take me out. Some turpits. some shells. Now this is with the four and a half second reload. Get this down to about three and a half seconds I believe. Actually didn't do all that much damage. There we go, there's a fire. Aim down, smoke up. Ooh. One round hit me. I do have the larger smoke screen, which gives me more maneuver room in here. 
Now he would normally be out of range, but got the extended range on these and can actually hit people out that far. Looks like the only person I've got to shoot at right this second. I've got like 19.2 for my range. Do need to adjust a little bit. Oh, more rounds. If they're firing at you, you got to move. You cannot take those hits in the ship. Let's see if I can get him as he's turning away. Two people aiming at me. Time to move. Here they come. Oh man. What's those torpedoes? Those are enemy torpedoes. Oh my goodness. Dude got all the way around behind us. As soon as these torpedoes pass, I'm gonna go take it off the count. All right, they're gone. We've got Hydra running. I just can't leave him back here to harass the rest of the team. Oh, I'm taking some hits from the rear. That sounds bad. Need to get rid of this guy. There we go. Oh, it's the enemy Smolensk. Smoke up. Dang it. Dang it. It's damage I didn't need to take, really. Let's throw some torques back that way. I knew I was going to have the possibility of getting hit when I pulled out, but I could not leave that destroyer back there behind us. Let's see if we can do some damage to this Cleveland. And a Hindenburg. Cleveland still looks like target. Ah! Island in my way. And I think that's more shots from the Smolensk. Ant Man got my rudder. We're just gonna let it go into this island and stop my progress. Nobody is shooting at me right this second, so just going to let it repair on its own. We'll try to regain some health when this comes up. Okay, rudder repaired by itself. See if we can do any damage with the AP on this Smolensk. 
hit it. up in about 10 seconds if I need to. Oh, I'm about to hit something. Dang it, man. Yeah, well, we're gonna have some better well, the TV commercials say smoking kills you, but in some situations it can save you too. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can farm some damage. Oh, look who else ran into an island. Come on. There we go. heading this way. Finish this guy off. There we go. Now we're on target. And I can't see him anymore. Dang it.
Yes, the fire. I have made fire. There we go. All right. If we can get out around this island quick enough, maybe we can get some final shots in on this cruiser. I don't think I can clear the island just yet. All right. Oh, man. Somebody just finished him off. All right, there's a destroyer and a battleship left, and they're both over to the northeast. So that might be it for me. Kind of far, I gotta work my way around this island. Might as well drive through the cap on my way back to the northeast. least get some points for capping. They killed the destroyers. Only the battleship left now. We have the lead purely because we have the ship advantage. Battleship still out of range, so this will be my contribution here. A little cap points. And he's got about a little more than half health. He's. I might can get over there and get a shot on him. I'm going to complete this cap before I exit this circle, though. Alright, we got a shot off. Are those going to hit? No, they're too long. And somebody took him out. Okay. We still did pretty good. Not great, but good for me. We got Kraken Unleashed. 102,000 damage. Five ships destroyed. Set eight fires. So, yeah. Came in third place on the team. Did 33,000. 17,000. 17. 12 and 7 and some friendly damage ran into the Joan Bart so yeah not too bad so we've looked at her in the port we've seen her in battle what is my final and overall opinion of the Smolensk I like this ship you know it's exciting well that about sums it up so here's how to enter the giveaway. To be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to my channel and your subscriptions must be public so that I can verify your subscriber status. Two, you must leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comments section of this video. An example is on the screen. Three, you also need to hit that like button. Winner notifications. The winner will receive a response to their comment, notifying them that they were selected. If selected, you will need to reply to that notification within 48 hours, or I will select another winner. So make sure that your YouTube notifications are set up so that you get notifications when someone leaves a reply on your comment. Last but not least, when the contest is complete, I will pin a contest complete comment to the top of the comments on this video, 
with the date of the drawing and the winner's name. No other notifications will be given. So if you've liked this video on the Smolensk, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.